and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got this wonderful parcel uh, that I received from Jen from uh, Jen's Creative Creations and she receives magic at your door from Disney but she created the crafty magic at your door. <laughs> um, I have to say that it is released from biosecurity bio control um, opened by Australia Post and I don't know if that has to do with coronavirus or not but let's hope that everything is inside and let's also hope that whatever Jen put in here and the way she packed it that they redid that because I'm not so sure about it so let's open it up Put on your wings. Oh, how cute is that? That's absolutely adorable. There we go. Chantelle, thanks for swapping with me. I look forward to many more collabs in the future. I hope you have as much fun crafting as I did creating this package for you. Good luck and have fun, Jen. So she created this. That's absolutely stunning. It's basically in the colors of my channel. So Jen, I hope this is in the same order <laughs> as what you sent it in. <laughs> but this is absolutely stunning stencil can make some nice textures with this so what we did is we did a, a box swap with mixed media stuff and I can see she put pom-poms in <laughs> we can have some fun with those for sure um, so it's basically a what, steampunk kind of vintage kind of thing <gasps> oh this looks beautiful we have some a ribbon and some pom-poms with buttons oh my goodness this is so cool <laughs> oh googly eyes look at all the pom-poms oh we're gonna have some fun with those at some point not sure if i'm gonna use them for this craft but we will have some fun with those look how beautiful this is it's absolutely stunning let's get rid of all these pom-poms I'll get back to you. This is so beautiful. Okay, let's start from the bottom up. This is so, so cool. From Craftbox, we have some pipes and gears. Mm, that's gonna be fun. And another one, all laser cut. By craft box we have some tissue paper that's nice and vintage is that France I'm sure it's France and another one I'm even I've never even thought of sending her tissues I don't think I did this is so cool I might read this on its own <laughs> butterflies Oh, this is awesome. It's like a yin yang kind of tree design. Another nice laser cut frame. Some more tissue paper. I'll put that underneath this one. And some more nice pretty flowers. And this, I think, are trees as well. Yeah. Look at that, that looks so cool. They are beautiful. Just gonna put them back in here. Let's go to this beautiful thing. This is so stunning. It's like a tie-dye kind of thing with leaves. <gasps> Look, more. It's so steampunky, it's so cool. I love it. Okay, what have we got? Some embellishments. Very nice. What is this? This is some jewelry. I'm not gonna craft with that. I'm gonna wear that whenever I'm dressing up for theater. Ooh, a stamp. Beautiful rose. 
Jen, you've spoiled me. It's a little dragon, stars and dreamcatcher. It says mermaids and dragons also from Craftbox. What is this? Black feathers. <laughs> Love it. Butterflies on shimmery black stuff. What is it? There are just shimmery black stickers. Lettering and some green butterflies. She knows that green is my favorite color. Green and then purple and then black, I think. Or green, black and then purple. Not sure. Depends on my mood. Well, this makes me googly eyed. Look how much there's in here. It's nuts. Okay, let's let's go to this one and see what this is. Fragile, okay. Oh, what is that? Did you make this, Jen? That is so cool. Oh, I love this pen. I used to have one and it is indeed liquid gold. That is fantastic. Mine ran out after many, many, many years, so they, they last a very long time. It's the Extra Fine Deco Color Liquid Gold Opaque Paint Marker. The Deco Color Premium Prime Premio Shiny Metallic Paint Marker for most surfaces. Oh, satisfying sound. What's next? This one? Woo! More googlies. Oh, lace. I love lace. Jen, you've gone all out. This is nuts. This is so beautiful. I would probably use this to decorate a, a notebook with. This is so stunning. That'd be beautiful to have a sleeve like that. Let's continue with the small packages. Glitter. Oh no, glitter. <laughs> some white, some iridescent and silver. Oops, we're not done yet. And black and shiny black. This is so weird because we've sent each other very similar things and we didn't know. What's this? Shinies, shiny stickers. Pearls in blue and a light pink. Ooh, wings. That is very nice. What's this one? Oh, 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 that's cool. <clears throat> Little, what are they? Raven skulls? Bird skulls? Definitely make something cool with that. Next one, some twine and cord. And then what's this? Oh, that's so cool. This is awesome. Where on earth did you find these? So these are basically playing cards with Edgar Allan Poe things. The quotes from Edgar Allan Poe um, poems and stories. That is so cool. I've never seen them before. Thank you. And some tags with, on some beautiful paper. Oh my goodness, but we're not done yet. What is this? A little note. Paper covered on both sides. This is so beautiful. These are little ravens. Jen! Did you make these? Look how cool this is. Oh my goodness. This is going to be nuts for projects. Thank you so much, Jen. Ah, I'm so excited. Oh, this sounds like jingly jangly. Some vintage stuffs. Oh, that could turn out very creepy too, by the way. The stuff that we send each other is so similar because I sent her a little baggie like this as well, where she has, um, this kind of stuff in there. This is beautiful, by the way. So stunning. Metal flower, a tree, and some pipes. Two keys. I love keys. Spider. Just random bits and bobs, but they're always good for mixed media projects. Let's see. What's this? Oh, that's heavy. Heart crayons. Let's lift this up. Oh, I've never tried this before. Marabou Art Crayons. 
watercolor crayons, mixed media. I'm very curious to try this out. Sky blue, gentian, gentian, lavender and plum. Nice. What is this? Ooh, that looks like paint. Sparkle medium blue moonstone. These are paints, I think. And this is sparkle medium. Oh, it's to work with stencils. Ooh, look at that. Interesting. She sent me a, uh, a work surface. So this is a, a flat canvas. Ooh, flowers. Nice, I like that. This is a, a stencil. Nice. Have I said nice yet? I think I have. A frame and some swallows. And another tag. I think some random papers. This was just a sharing um, our, oh, she might have made this herself. Um, sharing our stash and whatever we had and then we bought some things as well So that's everything in here. Uh, let me wrap it all up and uh, display it nicely for you so you can all see what was in it. Jen, again, thank you so much for all these incredible goodies. There is just so much to work with. I can probably not put it all in one project. Uh, but let, let's think something out and come up with something. Hello, voiceover me here. So for this mixed media project, I decided to buy two sketchbooks and decorate both with the items Jen sent me. I went with the sketchbooks by Montmartre. They have a black hardcover in kind of a crocodile skin. And these are the items that I picked from the box and that I'm going to be using for the first project for this particular sketchbook. There are many greens and some browns as well and I will be using the metallic paints as well as the metallic markers. I start off by sanding the entire cover of the sketchbook first, so the gesso that I'm going to use will stick to the sketchbook. The gesso that I'm using is a clear gesso by Art Basics. I then covered the entire sketchbook with acrylic paint. The colors I used are burnt umber, green and a little bit of yellow and I applied it with a sponge. I selected some papers that I received in the box, glued them on the cover and applied some of the green metallic paint. I then used some of my own watercolors to make the drip effect. I then decided that I didn't have enough texture on my sketchbook yet, so I used some texture paste and applied it on the bottom right of the sketchbook and later on I'll add some more to the top left. I also apply some of the tissue that she sent me and attach two of the flowers to the top left corner. This adds color and texture at the same time. I then go over the textured area with some watercolor to darken it up a little bit. To add even more texture I decided to use the green corrugated cardstock and stick it on top of the textured area at the bottom right. I then go over all the edges again with watercolor to give it an aged look. And here I am arranging all the elements that I want on the cover before I stick them down to see if it looks right. Because I wanted to stick with my steampunk theme and I wanted some rivets on there, I painted the blue pearls with the metallic gold marker and because it's an oil based marker, one coat does the trick. I attached one of the Edgar Allan Poe quotes with some lettering paper in the background. I'm adding some more texture in the top left corner like I said before and sent down the quote because it is a shiny card 
and I won't take any watercolor otherwise. I added some more watercolor and that is it. That is one sketchbook finished. Let's move on to the second one. Again I start by putting gesso on the entire sketchbook. For this sketchbook I didn't show you what items I selected, but it's basically blues, pinks and greens, but it ended up looking more brown and blue and not so much pink in the end. I made a little composition to see what the book will look like and start gluing everything on. After a layer of gesso I applied a layer of white acrylic paint because this sketchbook has a lighter background than the other one. The first layer after the white paint is a layer of tissue. And this is why I applied a layer of white acrylic paint, otherwise the tissue would be black. I slowly build up my composition as I laid it out before and in between the layers of attaching things to the front cover I apply blue and green paint. It's been quite a while since I've last done a paper mixed media project. Let me know in the comments down below, have you ever created something similar on an art journal or notebook? Once most of the things are on, I apply some of the blue glitter texture paste with the stencil that Jen has sent me, which worked really well. Then at the bottom right I apply one of the tissue flowers and the tree on top of the frame. I've also added in the metallic leaf, which is on the left side, and three of the wooden butterflies. I apply some of the metallic paint with my fingers over the tree, and all around the sketchbook I put a dark coppery brown watercolor, and I also use a little bit of blue. And then there is the finishing touch as I add some of the rivets that I also used for the other sketchbook in gold. I am really happy with how they came out. And they have their own steampunk feel in their own right, just with different colors. And that's it for this video, I hope you liked it. Jen, thanks again so much for collaborating with me. I had a lot of fun and will definitely be doing this again. Please check out Jen's video and what I sent her. I will leave a link in my description box below. To my viewers, I have spoken to Jen and what we will do next time is because I'm more into miniatures and she's more into paper crafting, I will send her a parcel with paper crafts and she will send me a box with mixed media stuff for my miniatures. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you're new here, welcome! Don't forget you can hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!